about us, about what the future holds. Spiral Effector and Booster acquired, and a bunch of cash and tax points. All right, um, customization, none of this apply, only applies for the main, let's, um, almost max out the Leviathan. Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> Not even 100%, I get, a, I get a full custom bonus. I max out the HP or the weapon rank yet. Boost the lander driver. Okay. That works. Do the unicorn Gundam boost next. Save. Clear my throat for a moment. One more story mission, um, DLC mission to go, and we'll call it a stream. Short one, because I'm just doing all the DLC mission stuff. Oh, wrong one. Uh, what a scenario. Here we go. Oliko Starsky, the pink sniper kit. I need to check on the, uh, the booster of the spiral factor as well, but I'll close to the sniper kit, rage extender, and the pink Haro. Oh, a bunch of cash for this one, too. Hmm. Record number 201984. Loading data. This record is from the time we're preparing to head to Iskandar in order to save the three dimensions. The captains of each ship in the fleet listen intently to Okita's briefing ahead of their mission to Iskandar. For Iskandar. Or the end of the at Iskandar. Their mission prevent the space time fusion from occurring. That completes our view of the basic strategy to be used in the upcoming fleet operations. Each of you will follow this underlying command plan while auto autonomously commanding your individual ships. It's been a while since I was part of a fleet. I'm also accustomed to missions as a single vessel. There's a lot I have to learn. I'm also accustomed to missions as a, missions as a single vessel. There's a lot I have to learn. Them goes for me. Nevertheless, we have to master the strategy before the time comes for us to depart. Like basically the Londo Bell guys and the Yamato and um, the crew of the Yamato are the only ones who've like had any serious fleet action experience. <clears throat> While the fate of three dimensions rides on our voyage, the limitations on fleet warp capabilities and factors like divisions mean that we can't send a large fleet. As a result, we formed a fleet among those with the most experience fighting alongside the Yamato, Nando Bell, and the Nandosko. Nothing less than the cross-dimensional all-stars could help to find a potent fighting force. However, the voyage to Iskandar will demand, demand even greater collaboration between our mobile weapons and our battleships. I think I have some idea why. I'm sure most of you do. The Gamelins will most likely be waiting for us. But that indicates the Empire is invading our galaxy in the direction of the large Magellanic crowd, cloud. So, right, not just interstellar travel, intergalactic travel so this is i mean this is a big step for both these people because again for all of their respective shows they are in the solar system even when i think a number series where the aliens come up in gundam double o but even there they're still in the solar system. 
bring this up. I'm like, if the Harmony Gold copyright trademark nonsense wasn't a thing, and um, Macross Plus, or the, you know, any of the later Macross series after the original were in this game, in terms of the timeline, not in terms of the era of production, because Macross Zero is technically earlier anyway. Um, if any of the Macross series were in this uh, game, then you'd have another group of people who had experience with interstellar travel. But here, we got interstellar travel and intergalactic travel for people who've just never done it. It's been completely out of the range of what technology in their universes can accomplish. That is kind of nuts. <clears throat> Please check. Excuse me. I'm going to throw it again. They detect the Yamato's movements, and they will consider it a counter-offensive and in all probability attack without delay. The same Gamma's fleet that wiped out the Federation of the NCC dimension. They didn't have the wave motion gun. We do. The scale of tactics of the enemy should be considered far beyond those of the fleet we faced in the UC dimension. And we'll have to fight our way through them. Eradicating the Gamelons is not our objective, but at least one confrontation seems inevitable. In the NCC dimension, the Yamato broke through the Gamelons' fleet and escaped the solar system, correct? A success can be proven, we say to have proven the effectiveness of powerful weapon, global weapons and capital ships fighting in, pan, in tandem. It also makes an issue plain, however, that the weapons in the front lines are totally dependent on the ships supporting them. That's right. Therefore, before we start work on moving on fighting alongside mobile weapons, we must first achieve the perfect strategy for operating as a fleet. I have to say, every single time we're just filled with the attention to detail and gritty reality of Sonata and Nine simulations. Not playing the latest video game here, Harry. That's right, you must master these fleet tactics before we depart depart the Earth, or all could be lost. Okay, but how are we even getting to the NCC dimension? Well, the same way that we were able to go get to the Evangelion dimension. Uh or other um way everyone, everyone was, was able to get to the Universal Century dimension from the uh uh, AD Dimension. On that score, you just have to trust in Professor Kabuto. Everyone is doing what they can in their own way to help save the Earth. That's the way I look at it. It's our duty to overcome all obstacles and proceed to our ultimate goal. In order to achieve that, for now we must concentrate on this training. We're ready to go anyway. wonder what they're laying on for us this time. Oh, well then, Sonata. Very well. Deploying targets. Gamble's fleet confirmed. We flash it to the center, other ships are deployed around it. A circular formation that places their focus on defense. We intend us to intercept and disperse our advance. We can't defeat this formation here, then we'll never advance to Iskandar. Looks like we don't have a choice. So don't hold anything back. All ships, break apart the information while attacking defenders in your vicinity. Take down the flagship, and we might just win. Roger that. All ships, begin the attack. You know what you have to do. So. Our battleship. So, number of battleships are to be sunk. They have to beat everybody. Oh! Oh! This is interesting. This is a cap ship only engagement. Okay. That's neat. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. That's exciting.
sorry, let me blow my nose there for a second. All right, this is interesting. Because if you notice also, they haven't deployed fighters either. The idea being in the show is you have both sides deploying fighters as like in the original series, both sides had fighter squadrons. Um, the Arcadia actually in the original series of the fighters, but I haven't seen SSX, so I don't know if there is fighters there. I'm actually interested for that show because um, right, that game does they're, they're yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do this. I want to do system seizure until we close. Um. Nobody's in attack range yet. And nobody. Okay, nobody has sprint. All right, so you don't have sprint. I know you I know you do. Or charge rather. So you can move up and open fire early. So that works. Destroy a class. Let's get on a place these bad boys. Um, eight hundred. All right, so Plumerias have a little more room to them. So they're so they're they're supporting each other, but they're okay. I'm thinking how to work this. So the main cannon can hit pretty much everybody. But the type three can hit you. We can return fire though. So I want a force shield. That so should be all right. And you seem like the weak link in the formation. Tell you, Kodai, teach the others how to handle ship to ship combat. I can't focus, worry about putting on a show. I focus everything on the enemy in front of me. It's important to listen to Kodai. Complacency, carelessness, these can be major enemies. Oh, right, that's good, actually, I wanted. You're gonna shot in on me, you have a really good chance of hitting. I got, got the wave motion carrier, so I can sink it. And that softens you enough. That other people can open the uh, job. Who else has charge? I'm not sure. You don't. Uh, whoever has charge, someone who wants to immediately the attack because you can open fire first. All right. And the EX action for boost dash. Oh, 
Oh, it wasn't worth it. Nobody's in range. Yeah, that was a waste. My formation here is kind of a mess. You don't actually have a barrier like that on board. Ah, uh, oh god. I'll, I'll wait for her to get charged attack. Catacomb is sitting on my table. Thank you. The good news is, now they can. They aren't attacking on. Okay, you actually are attacking in within range. Uh. Iron wall. Lacus, some word for the crew of you, please. My friends, we shall soon embark on a really long journey. I'll face those. I feel like giving the speech while an enemy ship is rushing up to blast you in the face. This is the wrong time for this dialogue. It's the launched attack. My friends, so you will back in a really long journey and soon we'll place, we'll place those who prevent us completing it. We must proceed into the face of adversity the sake of all who have trusted us with their hopes. You heard the lady, giving us everything we've got. Roger that. I imagine like as the ship is approaching, she's like we're hurrying to get the it. speech out and come. Hopefully you'll miss. No, you don't miss. ジョブで聞いてた。そうそう、ケビ。案外そういうことも Well, both the, well, the eternal is always high. Both these things elect supply. The thing required of the book on a long point. You will rely heavily on her presence, too. I don't know what you mean inside, like every time somebody gets a kill. All right, now we are getting in the thick of it. Open up for uh, miss for gravity blast yet? Much better. Once we head out the sea of stars, all our contact with the Camelus fleet surely awaits us. But we can't, but if we can't break through their force, it will never reach us, Kandar. In which case, we have nothing to do. That is our duty. Duty of the Nandis Dome. に戦争を終結させることが先決でしょう。で、Mountain throws a barrier too. Nice. Uh, you are out of range of the roses out of your. Yeah, I've got you range, so I'm gonna take advantage of this. Strange, isn't it? What is it, ma'am? 
Bought the Dudan is originally a submarine, but now we are headed out to the depths of space. You'd think this would be the premise of, the ba of a bad second season of a submarine-focused science fiction series from the 90s, wouldn't you? Sea of Stars is still a sea. Well said. In that case, honor's on the line. Our honor is the Queen of the Seas. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that is a good line. I don't think the term submarine applies anymore. Yes, you will sit here and you'll take it. I can move up. Alright. If I move and attack, can I get the shot in? No, I can't. Oh, I can hit both of you. Okay. Now I can do a, a, a multi-action. Finish you off with a uh, Mega Particle Cannon. Enemy Vessel incoming. All crew, hold nothing back. Those who can't handle training exercise will never win in real combat. No uncertainty, overwhelm, remember our, your, our duty. That should help keep your head in the, in the fight. Shield Break. He's got a lot of combat experience for his age. I'm sure I see why he has command of Londo Bell. I'm sure I'll rely heavily on his assistance as we travel to Iskandar. Not to mention the potential worst case scenario. Well, technically, in the, uh, in the actual worst case scenario from the show, you, you pass the flag of the Yamato to you are Kodai, is it, is it, will the cancer get you? Both of you haven't taken any damage yet, but. 34 uh, percent same hit chance either way during the thick of things and we'll down and pick you on first Alright. Nato also going to do the uh, similar thing. Gamma's fleet is very ex different in his sheer scale, or in sheer scale from the fleet battles we've experienced in the past. What we signed up for. All crew, hold nothing back. We must big, big on each battle one at a time and bring our full power to bear in each. <laughs> Shihou! 
He might not particularly stand out, but Captain Otto's command is always solid. Even though he may appear cowardly at a glance, survival will be key to the success of our voyage. We expect good things from the Nahal Argonaut. And the other main mega, since I don't have a focus yet for the uh, hyper mega particle cannon, we use this one on the Plumeria. Oh, uh, that time is much useful. Makes sense with this one. We have no mobile suits in this engage, deliberately so. All oh, right. All right. Um, I could have to use multi attack. Fighting is about the same level of humanity as nine, which is surely the standards. Sounds likely. In which case, that's what we exploit. Let's get to work, gentlemen. On the Gamblers' fleet in a transport ship. Clearly, Captain Gunnerman and the Garancieris has clearly survived their fair share of hell already. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 